It'd be funny if you start to sing an ode to joy. Who is that? Look at that player. That player looks taller than... Play ah, there's another trap. It's another trap. What do you reckon? Do you think that's an enemy? It's a developer phantom, but it's in fact a bad guy. That is cool as fuck, that. That is really, really cool. I mean, it might suck when I fight him, because he's really big, and he's... Whoa, he's kind of like the... The dude from Demon Souls. The... Oh, I can't hurt him. Oh, can I? Is that just bad detection on a punch? Can I not hurt you? Really? You know, the black skeletons. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is just a fucking circus of bad things. Why could I hit him with a bow, but now I can't hit him with a weapon? I suppose I could bow him. Well, the problem with this is I have to press the wrong fucking button to fire it. It's messing me up. I'm hunting rabbits. See? It's going to do that every time. Oh, this guy's got wicked defense. Like, stupid wicked defense. Uh oh. Am I meant to kill this guy? What is happening? Uh. Um. Maybe I can poison him. I doubt it. Everything here has been in immensely immune to de to de poisons. What else have I got? Uh, can we like... No, I tried to hit him and it didn't work. Well, lucky enough for us, he's a fucking dumbass. Oh, that one went through him. And I press the wrong button and shoot him again. I don't understand this at all. Like, that poison arrow went through him. My weapon went through him. My fist went through him. Yet magic arrows and, and elemental arrows seem to be fine. And I'm not killing him like this because this is gay. And I don't mean that as a an insult to gay people, just as a... A stupid use of that word. There was a body in the room where this fellow was. What do you think we've got to interact somehow with said body to, to get some kind of rise out of this guy? Ow. Fucking falcon asshole. I'm going to go and defile your corpse. I'm going to mouth fuck it. That's what I'm going to do. There better not be all else in this room. Oh, what? There's two. Right, maybe he's got lost on his path in. So maybe we can shoot his body. And then maybe we can shoot his body. It makes him visible, it makes him killable, you see that? Might have been useful 20 minutes ago, but... Oi! Dickhead! <laughs> Welcome to Sparta, bitch! Well, that was interesting. That was a little bit out of the, the ordinary. Let's go and kill his buddy. It's pretty stupid. Got terrible hearing, bro. Right, let's have a fight. See what we can do. Fucking hell. That is fast. Should we try and go for the glory? Sail down from heaven! 
I tried to parry that and I think it was mistimed. What if he can kill his own body? That'd be interesting to see. I want to get that. Come on, dude. I've parried that black skeleton and he's much scarier than you. But then again, parries on that game worked much better than they do in this one. Do we think? Not that. I know I could probably do it. Actually, I should possibly test it on that one. Ah! Asshole. Because maybe he's classed as too big of an enemy. Because that does happen on this game for some... He's got a four hitter. Get away, bitch. Covers some distance with that. No, he can. He can be parried. So the question is, the timing on, on the leap. Go on, dude. That was a jump attack. That was a an, an early parry on my part as well. I kind of panicked. You see, I got floaty though at the end of that animation. It's the problem when you don't know the enemy. Because parrying, when it works, when it's with the Monastery Scimitar in this game anyway, it's not that difficult to do as long as you know the animations. If you don't know the animations, you might as well not even bother. <clears throat> this guy's got some stupid reach. Ow. Fun times with green men. Do it, dickhead. Ah! So frustrating because it's really fast and this game is not fast at all. <laughs> I bet that's a tough move to to deal with on PC because of the frame rate. At 60 frames, that move will come out really quickly. If you don't believe me, compare the Pursuer on PC to console. Like, He's got so much reach. Fuck this. Sorry, dude. Man. You're pissing me off now. Hmm. Help me a trap, please. Great. Arrows I never used in the main game. Oh, that's cool. Anybody who's tried to farm that equipment, it's a piece of shit to farm. So it looks like the devs have put it in this to alleviate some frustration. Oh, a soul vessel. Nice. More of that weird bomb stuff. Cool it would be if we could pick that sword up. And a worthless slab. Well, let's move on. Ah, this is the other side of that booby trap, you see. Oh, these guys have got poison on them. That's going to make killing them with my fist a pain in the ass. Well, it doesn't matter, because that guy... Fucking hyper armor for days. Can't see where I am. It's kind of important. Mace can dual wield sanctum maces now if we ever wanted to do something as disastrous as that. That sucks. Ah! 
Not as much as that did. I saw that happening. Fuck. He ran the wrong way, you dumb idiot. Never mind. Whoa, that one broke his poise. Interesting. Is it the old, because he was not attacking, we put him down? What happened there? Uh oh. God, I don't get poise. It's playing Guinea. Oh, oh, oh. Bloody hell, that's a sneaky one. I've never seen it so subtle. Even though it's kind of obvious, it's still subtle ish. What is that? It's like some kind of ninja guy. Isn't it? She, she got affinity. Manly voice. <laughs> On fire, uh, aesthetic. Rather obvious door that's apparently not so obvious. Wow. Guy's just like, did I just fart? in his foot. I'm not. I mean, he's not even responding, nah. He's just got to that point where he's like, nah, can't be asked. you any good if you were running away from a murderer. This is cool. Now it's significantly less cool. Because there's going to be uh, enemies and traps. Speaking of, Okay. That made sense. In some bizarre world. So what's down there? Apparently that one doesn't work. 
I think this is going to lead into the area. Jesus. Oh, that's a shame. I'm quite enjoying watching you suffer. Yes. Lock on. Functional. <laughs> uh, hours of fun. Good old human effigy. Just to make you cringe. Bolt stone, bleed stone. Bullshit. There's bound to be a mimic here somewhere. Ooh, twinkling. Nice. I'm down for some twinkling. Ooh, I've heard about this. This is a whip sword, very similar to Ivy from Soul Calibur. So, S scaling on decks. Very low requirements. A sword with a segmented blade. When swung, its segments separate, and the sword strikes in a whipping slash. Crafted with a rare magnetic stone of remarkable strength, only found deep within the caves of the gutter. So, it's kind of like a, an archaic lightsaber. And for the most, it's got the shitty straight sword moveset that nobody wants because it's boring and it does nothing. Like... It's got like the worst attacks ever. The running attack is good because it's fast and it's horizontal. But then you press R2 and it separates and starts doing all the crazy whip stuff. So that's kind of cool. And then two-handed, it's got a rapier move set. Or like the thrusting move set. with the horizontal of the straight sword and the poke of the straight sword and then it's got this which is one of the nicest animations in the DLC which I think is really cool and I think you can do it more than once yeah so you can chain it together like that but I'm not a dex build so it doesn't benefit me really at all I have dex but not enough so as much as I would like to use it, and as much as I think it looks like shit, personally. There it is, anyhow. Cool weapon. Hidden by traps and fake walls. Onwards and upwards. 